1-800-242-4444. Well, Violet Skyboard joins us now. And Violet, just how hot will it get this weekend? Definitely not near record heat, but still slightly concerning just because it will be hot enough. It will be borderline some heat advisories, especially looking ahead to Sunday. So through this weekend, make sure you stay hydrated, limit strenuous activities, and just be cautious because it will be pretty hot. As we look ahead to our next chance for rain, it looks to hold off until late on Sunday. So most of the week and this weekend is actually looking fairly dry if you wanted to go swimming or do any outdoor activities. We are talking about a soggy weather system too that's going to arrive on Monday, which is some much needed rain that we need for the grass or if you have gardens or anything that are starting to look a little bit crispy by this point. Next week, we're also tracking another hot push of air for the middle of the week that could be in the 90s once again. Starting with tonight, seeing cool, comfortable, and quiet conditions. A live look from our triple Doppler radar, sponsored by Falso Service Experts. Mostly clear outside, just seeing increasing clouds as we speak. A warm front is heading in, which is bringing this extra cloud cover in the overnight, and it's also going to bring us some hotter temperatures for tomorrow. Tomorrow, we still look to stay dry with low humidity, so it will feel like the actual temperature. But on Sunday, that's when the humidity returns, and also some stormy weather late in the day. And also, it's going to be slightly hotter than we will be on Saturday. Now, let's sum up your forecast for tonight, dropping down to a low of 60, increasing clouds, but still comfortable with low humidity. Looking ahead to your weekend, Saturday, high of 88, starting off with mostly cloudy skies. Then we get more sun in the afternoon. There's a chance for a couple of sprinkles across the southern tier, but most areas looking to stay dry for tomorrow. Sunday, we'll start off dry, mix of sun and clouds, and not going to get storms until late in the day. So we'll heat up to around 90, but feel like the lower 90s because of that high humidity. Then the storms arrive late in the day, and those will help to cool us down. Our temperatures, though, aren't really going to budge. There's only one cooler day in the forecast. On Monday, we're tracking a soggy weather system that will bump us down into the lower 80s, which is right around normal for this time of year. Then as we look ahead to Tuesday and Wednesday, bumping us right back up to 90 degrees as another warm front heads in, which is also going to bring the chance for some daily afternoon thunderstorms. Let's time out your forecast for tonight, hour by hour. Starting with right now, temperatures are around 70 degrees, expecting to drop down to 60 in the overnight with increasing clouds. Chance for a couple of sprinkles, mainly across the southern tier. But again, most areas looking to stay dry. As we go through the day tomorrow, that cloud cover sheds away. By lunchtime, we're in the mid 80s. Then through the afternoon, climbing into the upper 80s with mostly sunny skies as we go towards the evening time. Checking out your seven day forecast. Sunday gets even hotter, high of 90, but feeling like the lower 90s with some late day storms. A soggy weather system arrives on Monday, though, mostly cloudy skies with numerous showers on and off through the entire day, keeping our temperatures in the lower 80s as well. Another summer surge arrives midweek, 90 on Tuesday with a few isolated storms. Scattered afternoon storms Wednesday, but still reaching 90 before the rain begins. Then eventually our temperatures cool back down lower 80s for the end of the week with soggy weather Thursday before drying out on Friday. Matt. Thank you, Molly.